All right. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajeem. Bismillahi rahman rahim You know, that's a program, not a fan, man. You good? How's everybody doing today? You haven't woken up yet? Assalamu Yes, Mona, I see your, your, the stress of being up here. They're not awake yet. So I'll try to wake them up before the next speaker gets here. I won't be throwing much at the audience, but uh, please look for flying objects coming your way, inshallah. The title of this uh, session is called, Who Am I? Who am I? Who are you? You know, it's almost like uh, fighting words sometimes, depending on how you ask it. You come up to somebody, you're introducing yourself, you're giving a presentation, everybody looks around at each other like, who is this? Who are you to even step up and say anything to us? This is the same type of question that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa got, right? He came out, giving a presentation to the community about what they should do, I need you to do good things, and they're looking around at each other like, who is this? It's the same problem that Ibrahim had, and Musa had, and Isa had, and Yaqub. All the prophets, if you read the Quran, they got joked on pretty hard. They got joked. They got laughed at. Like, you know, you come and say, brothers and sisters, I have an announcement. We have to pray to God. And they, Psh, man, it's God. They start laughing. They throw rocks at him. Right? They start talking about him in the cafeteria. Right? You're sitting over there all by yourself and people laughing at you because of who you are. So today we're going to talk about who you are. Because you, be, uh, you may be different people. See, at home, you may be somebody, right? You might be the beta, or you might be, you know, yeah, well, it, you might, I don't know who you are at home. You might be a good person at home, you might be a bad person at home. But normally, it's not the same type of person that you are at school. Sometimes at school, you're known as a different person. You're known as a comedian. You're known as a smart person. You're known as the jokester. You're known as being shy, right? Have a different personality. Sometimes at the masjid, you're known as somebody even different. You come to the masjid, you might be a different person. Some people are shy in the masjid, and then they go to school, and they're like, the whole, the whole school knows them. Or in school, they're shy, and they come to the masjid, and everybody knows them. They have different personalities, depending on where they're at. And then you go in public, sometimes people have an even different person. than somebody else. You go take them to the movies, or you take them uh, out into the mall, and you're like, I, I never thought that you would say something like that. Where, where did that come from? I don't know. Anybody have a friend like that? Sometimes you take them places. No, I'm the only one? All right, I see a few hands. You don't want to embarrass anybody, right? We have different personalities. All of us do. All of us do. But that doesn't define you. That doesn't define you. Because I expect, I have a cousin. I won't tell you my cousin's name. But I have a cousin who believed that he had to be one way all the time. And if he changed that way, he felt like he was selling out. You ever heard this term? Oh, man, you, you just selling out. And the way that he was was kind of hard. He was kind of like raised on the streets, right? So his pants, you know, sagging a little bit. His walk was kind of like this. The way he would talk was, you know, you know what's up. I said, so, but when you go to a job interview, right, you can't, you can't dress like that. You can't talk like that. Well, I ain't, that's who I am. That's who I am. Right? I said, no, 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 no. Just because you change your clothes and try to speak better at the job interview doesn't mean that you're changing who you are. That's not who you are. Or do you define yourselves by how you dress and how you talk? Is that who you are? Who are you? Who am I even talking to? Are you a young adult? All the young adults, raise your hand. It's okay. Be proud to be a young adult. Why you? All right, young adults, raise your hand. Ah, mashallah. <laughs> All right, we got, we got some salt and pepper young adults. And uh, if you are, uh, where are all the kids at? Where are all the kids at? Uh-huh. 
We got some big kids. All right. Where are the, some of you may not be familiar with this term, where are the adolescent? The adolescent people, where you at? Okay, got a couple in the back, that whole back row full of adolescents. All right. Where are the, uh, the role models? Any role models out there? Yeah. All right, we're going to come back to this. We didn't see a lot of hands come up. Where are the mature people at? I see some people say, put your hand down. Put your hand down. Right? And my last one, my last one. I see a couple of hands that need to go up. Where are the knuckleheads? Where are the knuckleheads at? <laughs> Knucklehead? You're not a knucklehead. Put your hand. <laughs> All right. Sometimes people put you into these categories. When I say, where are the kids at? Maybe some of the younger people raise their hand, but some of the older people that felt like they was a kid, they stood up, raised their hands. 